Hello and welcome to my first Flash tutorial, frame by frame animation, make your own Stickman movie. Alright, here's the example I've made, and this is what we're going to be trying to do. There you go. Notice that on my example I have two layers. I have a background layer, which is locked. This layer has all the little beams. And then my second layer is my stickman layer. This is where I'm going to be actually animating and making my stickman. Alright, first thing you want to do is you want to go File, New, OK. This will give you a new file. Now, you're going to make the background layer first. You're going to want to go, you want to double click layer 1 to rename it. I'm going to name it background. There we go. And now I'm going to make my background. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to give them one little platform. That's all I need. Now I'm going to extend this to 25 frames. Whoops. I'm going to hold F5 to extend this to 25 frames. There we go. Now I'm going to lock it. Now this is locked. I can't modify or move it anymore. It's stuck there. Now I'm going to right click background, go insert layer, this will give me a new layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to rename this layer like this. I just double click it and go, I'll name this one Stickman. There we go. Now, to make your stick man, first thing you're want, gonna want to do is go onion skin. You're gonna want, you're always gonna want to have this enabled. You'll see why in a minute. Now, I'm gonna go to my paintbrush. I'm gonna select the size. I always keep it on three because I find that's the best size for drawing stick men. Now, I'm gonna want to create a new frame so I'm gonna go F6 to create a new frame now I'm gonna draw my stick man oh I always keep my fingers on the control and Z makes it easier so I can just draw whatever and it'll be quick to undo now keep playing with this till you get it right this bit here can take a while because your first character is the most important one. There you go, that's good. Now, the draws body. The first one is always the hardest. There we go. This is him. I like having them run for two frames. So in order to extend this frame, I'm just going to hit F5. There we go. So here is my stick man. Now, this is where the onion skin comes in. I'm going to go F7 to create a new layer and delete this guy at the same time. Now I'm going to go F5. As you can see here, what the onion skin does is it creates a drop shadow of my last frame which gives me a reference point for making my new one so now I'm gonna have him wave and thanks to my onion skin that gives me a reference point make it easy for me to redraw him oh remember you always want to do little movements because the more frames there are the smoother it's gonna look so now I'm just going to keep repeating this, F7, F5. Now, oops, F7, F5. And notice that when I create a new layer, I 
always click here before hitting F7, F5, because if you click here and hit F7, it deletes it and creates a new layer. It creates a new layer on whichever one you have selected. So always select the next one, then hit F7, then F5. There we go. So now let's see that. See? It's not having the bizarre. And if you want to make it smoother, because this is pretty choppy, all you go down here is you go down here, go into your frames. I'm going to have them run at 30. Now let's see here. There we go. Let's now have a moving character. Now I'm going to make him run. Oops. Now I'm going to make him run over to there. Remember, always use the onion skin as a reference point. It'll make your life much easier. As you can see, I am drawing him a little bit different every time. As you can see here, the movements or the, the changes in the movements are subtle. And the smaller the difference is, the better and the more smoother it's going to look. Right now, I have them pretty big differences, so it's going to look a little bit choppy. But then again, I'm trying to go pretty fast right now. So if I were trying to make a really nice one I would take more time and make sure that all of my movements were really nice tight together and I have a whole lot of frames all for my movements so now let's see that so there you go that's running so you can just you can make you can make these go for on as long as you want they can be 20 frames, they can be a thousand frames, they can be as long as you want. But anyway, that's how to do basic frame by frame animation, creating your own stickman movie. Thanks for watching.